Howdy, Mark Serbu, gun designer, gun nut. So what the heck is a roll stamp machine? Maybe you never saw one before, just like I never saw one before until I bought one. But I'll bet you've definitely seen what a roll stamp machine can do. Here are a couple of the more famous roll stamps that you'll see on some fairly well-known guns. To a lot of gun guys, the roll stamp can be as exciting as the whole firearm itself. Yeah, I know. It's, it's kind of weird. I've, you've probably got one of those friends. I've got one. He's one of those stock cartouche kind of guys and he looks around at the roll stamp and like oh my god you know it's some special set of characters from something i don't know it's, i don't get it but i understand to a certain point this is pretty cool i mean that uh, that colt pony is sure beautiful so what the heck am i doing with a roll stamp machine by the way it's also known as roll marking or roll engraving the bottom line for the roll stamp machine is speed federal regulations require that the caliber be stamped somewhere on the gun and most companies put it on the barrel we used to engrave that information in the CNC machine, and it took about a minute per barrel. A minute doesn't sound like a lot of time, but there are companies out there that put out a thousand guns a week easily. And now you multiply that thousand times a minute, you got a thousand minutes, that's about 17 hours. And that's just for the engraving. That doesn't include actually switching the part in and out. So it's a heck of a lot of time. So how does it work? Well, as you can see up top, it's got this big cylinder. It's a pneumatic cylinder, six inch diameter. We run it on about 100 PSI air. And based on the cylinder size, it gives us about 3,000 pounds of force on the stamp. And as you can see here, obviously, the stamp rolls. So why does it roll? Why doesn't it just put all those characters in one nice big flat stamp and stamp them all in there at one time? Good question. Simple answer. The fact is, gun parts are hard. You try to stamp characters into a steel hardened gun part, and it takes a lot of force. With the roll stamp, that roughly 3,000 pounds we get from the air cylinder is exerted on each character individually. If we had a big flat stamp and had all basically about 20 characters here, the force would get distributed over all those characters. And in this case, it's about 3,000 divided by 20. You get about 150 pounds of force. It wouldn't even make a mark on that barrel. You got two, two push buttons you have to push at the same time. If you don't get them right, it just makes a funny noise. Isn't that funny? Like a roll stamp machine fart. Come on. No, it stopped just because I made fun of it. There we go. All right, so here's how it goes. You hit them both at the same time. That's 21,000. Not even three seconds. That's awesome. So that's one of the reasons you do it is because it's very quick quick, does a nice job, consistent, very cool. You know, I just went over the same spot twice and it lines up perfectly, that's good too. But one run's usually enough. Well, I hope you liked learning about the roll stamp machine. It's definitely upped our game on marking barrels, and it's been a fantastic addition to the shop. As always, I welcome your comments, especially if you've got experience with a roll stamp machine. If you ever play with one, love to hear about it. And as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Wish I could do it more, but it's, uh, it's, it's crazy in the gun business right now. And God only knows what it's going to be like in a couple weeks. <laughs> All right, have a good one, folks. Catch you next time.